Welcome everyone for another commentary video. This time we are checking out a replay on Assetto Corsa. It was an SRS race hosted a while ago. And for the replay I'm thanking Mike Martin, also known as Plan Cliveries. The audio might not be the best for the commentary part. I've only noticed it after recording the initial video that the audio would often cut out at the start of sentences and stuff like that. So I'll try to fix it as much as I can. Hopefully it's not going to be a problem. Hope you can still enjoy the race. And on we go, Mattia gets a terrible start and he is already side by side in turn one. Thankfully he gets to save the car. Behind him is Sergio and Lucas and Lucas oh, goes a bit wider. But still manages to stay in third place. And it's Jim. Sergio is already going side by side and loses the place down to third place. And it's the Russo car is behind him. And then Spect. And behind Spect there's Craig. And Yari Pentinen. So first lap so far without any trouble really. Oh there's one car in, spinning in the back. I believe that was Michael Martin. Now the Sergio going a bit low there and is side by side. And he's losing a lot of grip with the curve. And behind him. Plenty of cars looking for action. Craig is already side by side with one of the others. They are going side by side. Simon stays ahead, but Craig now goes side by side behind him with Jim. And just manages to get the place. In the meanwhile, Yari and Donny are also battling a bit. Behind them is Rob Russo. Riggs goes side by side with Diamond's Pat. From the inside to the outside. Gets the place done. Now let's have a look at what happened to Michael here on lap one. So he's right behind Rico Haas there. And oh, the two of them unfortunately collide. Kind of looked like Rico lost the car a bit. Ray stepped out on it and Michael saw a gap. But unfortunately Rico tried to save it and it did not work out. Uh, so let's see what happened on the final turn here on lap one. They're on board with Spect here. Jim is ahead and Craig is going side by side with him. But heading into the first turn, Craig just cannot get a good enough break there because Jim was ahead of him. The spec manager has to not only defend from Craig but also gain on Jim. And behind of them there is Donny. Ahead of him is Yari and behind him is Roberto and Matteo Venuti. So he got a good view out of all of this two cars side by side ahead and he might be able to have an opportunity here to send up on the inside going side by side with Yari but the opportunity was not enough another thing to note about this race is that the timing score was actually not completely accurate and for some of the cars didn't actually finish where SRS does it so figured it would be Interesting to showcase where everyone actually finished, even though the position counters in replays don't really work. Jim is having a look there on spec, and 
behind of them. Don is also looking at the opportunity to get Yari. And my Lucas is trying his best to catch up to B1, but that's the size of a gap ahead of him. Let's check on Alexi here for a bit. He has Handy behind him. Who sponsor, <laughs> quote unquote, is none other than the Master Chef himself. Matteo had a look on the outside, but there's not much you can actually do there. And tagging into the hairpin is probably the best place to get the overtake, and he overshots it. Big time with the braking. But manages to save it, and on the straight, they are already side by side, and Matteo manages to get the place from Rob there cleanly without problems. Yari is in the middle of this train here. Jim ahead of him and Donny behind. Donny is going for a send down the inside. A bit of a lock up there. Manages to tape it in time and moves up, taking a place from Yari. Next target for Donny is going to be Jim. But you can see how much Mata is gaining them behind. Starting another lap, and looks like the field is spreading out a bit. Except for Matteo, who seems to be gaining on Yari non stop. Others like Rico has just crossing the line there, so. There seems to be quite a big gap. I can get the map there. In the top right, you can actually see how much is the gap between each car. Here we have the leader starting a lap. And here is Lucas in second place. Unfortunately, the gap between him and first place didn't shrink whatsoever. And he's now going to be a bit of a trouble here. Because Sergio behind him is actually catching. Let's get on board with Matteo here. Very smooth with the throttle. And the big turn. Had to correct the car a bit there. And he's going for the outside here on the hairpin. He's right behind Yari. Correcting the car on the exit. Up to second third and is gaining they're gonna go side by side here and up ahead Matteo goes and Yari loses a place here it's unfortunately it seems to be nothing that Yari could do there out of nowhere Matteo appeared and conquered Looks like his next target is going to be Donny ahead. Oh, he gets very close there on the corner. Over the curves there. Starting another lap here. Rob is significantly behind them. There's a quite a big gap between him and Yari. So it's unfortunately, looks like for the time being out of them battle. Oh, Donny has a lock up there. Tried to protect the inside there and Matteo couldn't do much about it. He himself almost went off track there a bit. Like Simon is losing time over Craig here. Jim might be getting closer to him. Further behind, Alexi is getting closer to Rob there. Oh, 
Oh, Mateo is pretty wide there on that turn. Already on the straight before the turn. And he's getting closer and closer lap by lap to Donny now. Bumper to bumper almost. Has a look on the inside but goes for the outside. Big lock up there from Matteo. And a small one from Donny. Here comes Yari. Opportunities for sure. But unfortunately, he didn't get the place back from Matteo there. Ooh, they almost touch on the down here now. Look at that, like nothing happened, but there is still right there. Barely a second behind Donny. Oh, Yari lost it! Russo stepped out and he's into the wall. That's gonna help Russo and Alexi to get closer. Alright, heading into the hairpin, and no, oh, Matteo lost it! Thankfully was able to save it. But that's the second spin in, what was that, half a minute that we saw. This car sure seems to be handful. Let's have a look at what happened to Yari here. He tried to stay as close as possible, but unfortunately during the braking, the rear steps out on the car and there's nothing he could do. Thankfully, it's not a head-on collision. The impact wasn't as big and no spinning at all. He was able to get back on track without losing much. As for Matteo's pin here, let's have a look there during the braking. Looks like he went onto the grass with the rear tires. That's what had made him spin. And if you're wondering what was that sound that we heard in the hairpin, that's Donny. He actually got caught off guard by what happened behind and forgot to shift into the current gear. So technically, these three all had an unfortunate moment, so they are pretty much even out now. The gap between Donny and Jim has increased for sure, unfortunately. So he cannot pursue to get a better place unless the cars ahead of him make mistakes. And thankfully for Yari, the two cars ahead of him that he was battling with throughout the race is still there. And very close. This also helps Rob Russo behind them. Because a few laps ago he had a massive gap ahead of him and now it's a lot smaller thanks to all of them ahead of him making mistakes. Oh, then he has a moment on the exit. And Matteo is trying to get a place there ahead of them. Nicola messes up the braking zone. The Matteo, thankfully, didn't steer into him, but it was not far off. Still after the hairpin, they are going side by side, and on the short straight, Matteo is gaining a lot, and he's going for a move, and he gets it. Donny had to pull out from it. He was sure that he's gonna keep the place. But Matteo had a surprise in store for us. Now it's up to Yari if he can do the same. And ahead of them, it looks like it's Donny's teammate, Sergio. He caught up to Lucas, because he's trying his best to stay ahead, but it's clear that Sergio seems to be having an advantage. But as we head into the final sector, is where Lucas is driving kind of far apart. Sergio tries to have a move on the inside there, but it unfortunately didn't work out for him. And getting back on track, he has a half spin and loses three places. And he just manages to get back on track ahead of Matteo. 
on board with Sergio and we are watching the rear view camera here. The Matteo is getting very close here and why wouldn't he? Everyone wants to finish his out of the others. In the meantime Yari tries a move up on Donny but unfortunately it didn't work out for him. Now the radar might be getting a bit misleading here <laughs> or kind of hard to follow but essentially the radar follows where the car is facing, not where the camera is facing. Sergio has made a mistake once, he'll be trying to get back into the rhythm now. It's kind of hard when you have someone like Matteo behind you. He in this race alone so far showed what he's capable of and what he's willing to do to take a place. No doubt it's gonna be different this time around, as Sergio has a moment unfortunately! And they collide! Watch him get back from Matteo's on board. Ah, oh, that's very unfortunate there. So here we see the others arriving ahead and Sergio's car steps out. He tries to save it. In the meantime, Matteo was thinking that maybe Sergio will lose the car onto the middle of the circuit. And unfortunately, the two of them collided. And that's the end for Sergio here. And that's unfortunately how luck can change in racing. It doesn't matter if it's real or fictional or online or simulated. As Sergio had a strong race, but unfortunately two mistakes is all it takes. In the meantime, Matteo only lost two places here as he manages to defend from Rob Russo. And we are not far off from the finish of the race either. So we obviously have these three right here and behind them the order didn't really change much. It's still Rob Russo and then Alexi behind. Ahead of Donny it's still Jim and Simon Specht. And ahead of Simon it's still Craig. Lucas is losing some ground here but he's not gonna lose enough for Craig to overtake him. In the meantime the leader is crossing the line. Good job there from him and he is off. Not a social type. Craig and the others are getting around to finish the race as these three are still battling behind them. Yari has a look on the outside and Matteo takes full advantage of that, gets behind Donny and unfortunately Donny and Yari gets together on the final turn, allowing three cars between them to get ahead. So here, let's have another look. Yari is up on the inside and Donny unfortunately closes the door on him. Matteo is able to overtake both of them and so does three other cars. So in the finishing order, Matteo, Donny, Rob, Alexi, Handy and then Yari.